Hello guys, welcome back to J Minor, and today I will be discussing if the Indianapolis Colts, with that 21st pick in the NFL draft, should draft Alabama quarterback Mac Jones. So basically, Mac Jones is most likely going to declare for the draft after his national championship title from yesterday against Ohio State, 52 the 24, the final, and a perfect season for Alabama, beautiful season for Alabama, and I think that Mac Jones could come to Indianapolis, according to Todd McShay. Well, with that 21st pick, the Colts have a really good chance of drafting Mac Jones, but here's the thing. The Colts, if the Colts resign Philip Rivers, or if he doesn't retire, either way, if we resign him, we're probably not going to pick up Mac Jones. I mean, we could still for backup, and we would, I don't know what we would, we would do to Jacob Eason, because I know Jacoby Brissett is a free agent if we don't sign him. So basically, if the Colts lose Philip Rivers if they don't get him back, if we don't get him back, then we will probably have to draft a quarterback. And we'll see with that first those first twenty picks in the draft and see if the Colts are gonna end up picking Mac Jones. Remember, the NFL draft is in April. But yes, he's most likely gonna declare for the NFL draft um, Alabama having the perfect season, and Mac Jones, just a great quarterback and all, great quarterback, the Crimson Tide team will go down as a very good team, really great team, I know there's probably been a lot of undefeated, um, Alabama teams have won the national championship, but this team is stacked. You got Devontae Smith and Mac Jones, Najee Harris, um, John Mache, um, what's his name? Jalen Waddle and more. But man, this Alabama team was stacked this year. And I'm not gonna lie. I think Mac Jones can get drafted by the Colts. And he's definitely gonna declare for the draft. We know Trevor Lawrence is gonna probably be in the AFC South. I'm a Colts fan, so you'll be in our division. We have Ryan Tannehill, most likely. I I feel like Deshaun Watson is not going to get traded. If he does, then the Texans are not going to have a good couple of years. Their franchise quarterback getting traded in his fourth year. He's only played for like three years on the team, so that's going to suck for the Texans. The Jaguars, you got Trevor Lawrence, I think Trevor Lawrence can do something, and I think he can do stuff. You have Ryan Tannehill, maybe the best quarterback besides Philip Rivers. Because Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer. There's no doubt about it. Was his stats? I know he hasn't won a championship like Dan Marino, Warren Moon, Dan Fouts. I think, but. Um, yeah, Philip Rivers is definitely a Hall of Famer, and he's definitely the best quarterback in the AFC South, and I think the Colts should draft Mac Jones either way, because I think Philip Rivers might retire, but if Philip Rivers doesn't retire, we definitely give him one more year more, definitely one more, one more year, and remember, Philip Rivers is 39 years old so he's most likely going to retire after this season and let's look at this ESPN source um Philip Rivers definitely upgrade over Jacoby Brissett um 
And remember, the Colts could sign Matthew Stafford or Carson Wentz. The only problem is Carson or Jacob Eason can start for our team. Which I highly doubt it. But Carson Wentz can reunite with Frank Reich, who was the offensive coordinator in Philadelphia, then moved to Indianapolis to be the head coach in 2018. And then you got Massey Stafford, who is a free agent this year, and he will most likely be going somewhere else. I don't think he's staying with Detroit anymore. That's good for him. I don't want his career to be wasted. No offense to Lion fans. But yeah. Um, did sign a one-year contract in March 2020. Phil Rivers did one year, $25 million. Just one year. Not one year. Gave us a playoff bound. And... I don't know. This is going to be a tough offseason for the Colts, in my opinion. This could be a very tough offseason. I don't care about the wide receivers. I doubt we're going to... I don't want to draft Devontae Smith at this rate. I don't want to draft him. He might be one of the best wide receivers in college history. But I don't want to draft him. I don't... I don't... We don't... I, I don't know if I should say we or I. But I think that Devontae Smith should most likely be the third pick. I And according to, I think, Tom McShay... Yeah, Todd McShay. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today. Just talking about stuff. See what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. And one more thing before I go. I just gotta say is, I think Mac Jones should be drafted to the Indianapolis Colts just in case Philip Rivers does indeed retire before the season starts. Just like Andrew River or Andrew Luck. He was a great quarterback. Andrew Luck was a great, great quarterback. And if he never retired, I think the Colts are Super Bowl contenders. Yes, Philip Rivers is good, but Andrew Luck, if he doesn't retire, he could be a future Hall of Famer. He could. But now if he somehow comes back in the league, then I think he would not be on the Colts anymore. He would have to pick a team. And I don't blame him. But anyways, that is it for today. He's one of the nicest guys in the NFL. I think Mac Jones should be drafted to the Indianapolis Colts. Unless any of those 20 picks below the Colts are going to pick Mac Jones. But anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Let's try to get the 60 subscribers before 2022. Uh, maybe a hundred actually. I don't know, but sixty is good enough. Um, but anyways, drop that like button or and drop a subscription. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.